Okay, I've been packing for an hour and I think I finally have everything. I forgot that when you go shoot camping, it's packing twice as much as you usually go camping because you gotta bring all your shooting stuff, maybe triple the times um, if you're bringing your own targets. And on top of that, oh, just one more thing I just realized. And on top of that, if you have some newbies coming, you usually have to pack extra because uh, they probably just don't have half of the stuff. So since Jason Chen is coming and since um, Joe, he shoots a lot, but he doesn't camp that much. I don't think he has a lot of things or I don't think it's on his mind to bring a lot of things. So I'm just bringing it just to cover the other two. The other people I'm meeting up with, they're all former Marines. So if you're a Marine, you pretty much camped a shit ton. You lived in the field for a while. So you pretty much have everything covered, but I think I'm gonna try to go through my list. I have this mental checklist and I wrote it down too, because before I even start packing, I usually like to make a list and I think macroly before I get lost in the sauce and start picking up individual items. So this is what I got. I brought a yoga mat, not because I'm gonna do yoga, but uh, because I might, there might be a chance where I might have to sleep outside in the tent and I have a long range rifle that I brought this time that we're gonna try to shoot like a thousand yards away. So I'll use this as a mat to lay on the ground. I got this. I brought a canopy for shade. Have my air mattress. This air mattress fits perfectly back here. If you guys saw that one camping trip that we went to uh, Nadim's uncle place a while ago with Casey, Tiff, and Joe, uh, the one where me and Gio were sleeping in the back, I hope um, we didn't bone too hard where the mattress started leaking and it doesn't work anymore. So I brought that, brought the air mattress, but just in case, I brought a tent and uh, a yoga mat to sleep on. I have my normal camping um, little air mattress thing. Brought sleeping bag. I brought, usually I just bring one camping chair, but since Jason and Joe are both coming, I brought both of these guys. Rinse kit, because you never know. You could always use some water. And then I got all kinds of targets here. Metal targets, dueling tree. I got new uh, two by fours. I probably gotta get new these ones. I shot with these so much. You see all these little holes in them. The problem with that is I think this might be the last trip with them because their parts all start snapping. I also bought another set of metal targets so we don't have to share as much. And this is really important. People always ignore the, not ignore, but they forget or ignorant to miscellaneous camping parts and you just never know when you're gonna need something like this so that's why i brought extra but like toilet paper in case you have to poop toolkit especially since we have firearms and guns you might have to fix some shit so there's hammers wrenches in there e-tool shovel you guys saw how much we used this last time dug holes use it to put out the fire you could move burnt logs around you could use it as a hammer uh some insect repellent centronella wd-40 butane fuel fly traps first aid kit is in here too um where is that all right right there first aid kit good lighter got that and then since we're probably going to set up a little bit further away from where we park just to make trips easier brought a little dolly action these are just camping things by the way and then the targets and then on this side i have my weapons belt my holster weapons belt i have bringing a um a short AR and a long AR and then a long rifle because I haven't done any long range shooting since the Marine Corps. Two pistols and then all my ammo underneath there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now I get to pack my clothes, which I haven't even packed yet, but it's gonna be a really short trip. Just pretty much uh, like tonight and then tomorrow morning. So I don't have to bring that many clothes, but I do enjoy having a really good sleep. So I'll just probably pack some PJs so I can sleep comfy and probably a t-shirt. And uh, if I do feel really sticky, I got a rinse kit, just spray my pits and neck down and my groin down, I think I should be fine. Um, I'm not packing any food, cause I'd be even more stuff. I think uh, we're gonna be shooting, we're gonna be shooting out in the desert, so driving all the way out into the desert. I'm not gonna tell you where, because some of you freaking sneaky mofos will be like, wait, are you allowed to have those weapon systems in that part of town? Well, you're not gonna know because you're not gonna know what part of town I'm in. <laughs> Could be Arizona, could be Texas, could be whoever, wherever. I'm not gonna tell you where the hell I'm shooting at. And then, um, yeah, we we'll just drive out to town, probably grab some food, breakfast, 
So I probably will bring a little cooler just for some coffee, but that's about it. I'm gonna pack my clothes now, take a shower. Just shaved. I don't know what it is about going shooting. It makes me feel like I'm gonna go perform at a show or something, but, or actually I feel like I'm gonna go on like some special mission. Maybe I'm just trying to live out my child life, my childhood fantasies. Um, the fantasy I didn't get to live in the Marine Corps, but the next thing I'm gonna do is cut my nails. Cause I don't like having dirt underneath my nails, especially when I'm in a dirty place. And I just don't like, you know when nails get long, and I just feel like you can't manipulate your fingers that well. I hate that. I wanna be as operator as I can. Got my clothes, got my Angry Birds PJs. Um, this is my shirt that I wear tomorrow after I sweat through the clothes I wear today. Gotta rock the olive green, dominant Humbly Bar Road, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm gonna wear after my shower. These are my tactical pants. They're, uh, they look like civilian clothes, but they're actually really stretchy, so you can move in them really well. And they have all these like little pockets where you can stick magazines and knives and stuff. So tactical pants, my tactical Solomons right there. And then uh, I'm gonna rock my veterans, uh, our veterans capsule hoodie. Um, oh yeah, for the people that are asking, you don't have to be a veteran to rock this. This is to celebrate veterans. Like, just like how The Rock, if you see, he just promoted the, the Under Armour Freedom Collection. Same thing, you know, like The Rock isn't a veteran. It's just to promote and celebrate um, those who have served. So you don't have to. And just in case people aren't clear, um, some of our t-shirts have Brigade on the back instead of veteran, just in case they're scared to rock it. Um, also got this uh, Bottle Brigade Polytech jacket. That I'm gonna wear because I feel like it's gonna get freaking cold. So I got that. And oh, sneak peek though, next year in January or February, we're gonna release, re release that, but 10 times sicker. 10 times. So we're dropping a whole hour wear collection type thing. Um, I also think I need gloves. Do I have gloves anywhere? I do have shooting gloves, but that might not be enough. This is like my random drawer. You guys have a random drawer where like everything is organized, right? Like I got my shirts and stuff. Got my socks and underwear, and then this is just random like silkies. Like I don't know how to categorize that. Got like swimming trunks. I guess I don't have any. These are like my camping uh base layers. Like wool, like wool long johns when I go snowboarding and stuff. Hmm. Don't have it in there. Damn, where do I? See, that's the problem. Sometimes I just have so much shit. I don't know what I. I maybe I'll just stick with the shooting glove there. I don't think it'll be that warm to be honest. Do I got them here? Nope. These are just my hats. Just my hats. Fuck it. Is it up there? I pull my hamstring though, so I can't even jump. I don't even want to go for it. Fuck it. There's a term in the Marine Corps. Pack light freeze at night. Guess I'm freezing. This is so fucking crazy. We're in the middle of nowhere and we found this Asian restaurant that we're gonna eat at. I'm with Joe, Jason, Alvin right now. We were in the car talking about Joe's Vietnam stories and we're looking for pho, but they don't have any. They don't have, maybe we'll have to get it on the way back tomorrow. I know, yeah. we have to. Yeah, so now I gotta lock my truck because I got, you guys know I got hella gear in here. But this is crazy, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere and there's this random Taiwanese spot. Look at this, they got beef noodle, they got Saboro rice, dumplings. It actually looks good. This actually looks better than most Taiwanese food I've seen around where I live. And there's a lot of Asians there. That's hilarious. That looks pretty good, dude. This is like, how, how are you gonna get authentic Taiwanese food in the middle of the desert? I have no idea. This is wild. I'm excited to see you eat it so I can All tell right. if it's good or not. Dumplings. Ooh, you got dumplings? It's pretty good. Really? Damn. Mm. At a fucking truck stop. I know. <laughs> this is crazy. That's so tight. Me and Jason ordered the same thing. And then we also got a beef noodle soup mandatory that we could share. Is that hot and sour soup? Yes, it is. Oh, that looks good too. Those pasta. Ah. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh. Can I have one of these bowls? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Ever, can you can you grab both? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll grab utensils. Over here. One, two, and then some soup spoons. I'm excited to try truck stop Taiwanese food. Good friends. All right, let's try some of this beef noodle soup action. 
Should have told him those to one truck. I don't like it, but I forgot. Mmm. It's actually pretty good. Is it? Yeah. I mean, my standards are low. Because I'm like, this is truck stop town eat food. But it's not bad. The veggies are pretty good. Yeah. And the noodles are good too. It is pretty good. Look at this. It's all crispy looking. I'm surprised. Got the radish going on. Alright, we finally made it between somewhere, uh, between Arizona and Colorado. <laughs> and this is, uh, where we're driving to. It's even more in the middle of Arizona and Colorado and New Mexico. And it looks cool in the back, so I just wanted to show you guys this. You can see all this dirt kicking up. Because you can tell the dirt in Colorado just it looks a little bit different than California if you have the trained eye. Now it's time to unload all our stuff. We got so much gear. All of us have so many guns. We found that someone already set up a um, little campfire action right here. So this is must might be uh, where we set up our campsite. But they already made like a little firing, which is cool. I think Joe's gonna put his tent over here. Brought the the camping chairs over here. I'm trying to unload everything so we can shoot for like an hour before this beautiful sun goes away. All right, check it out. He just emptied everything out of the truck bed over here. There's a ton of stuff, huh? All kinds of stuff. Oh, cool, their tent's coming up good. Well, this is my tent, and uh, hopefully it works good, but this is all I have to do. Inflate, and slowly you see the air going in. Nice. It's supposed to be able to inflate in like under three minutes. So if this works good, this is gonna be my bed for the night. Now it's time for the spun stuff. I'm gonna start setting up targets so we can shoot the baby. That's it, it's done. Looks like it fits good. I could just put my sleeping bag back there. Probably don't even need that yoga mat I brought. And it's gonna be nice and comfy. Be nice and warm in here. It's awesome, glad it works. Well, actually, I don't know. Cause the minute my fat ass lays on there, I might squish all the air out. So fingers crossed guys. All right, cool. I got the first set of targets set up. All these new metal targets that I just bought. And then I uh, set up these stands. I really like these. These are the new models. The old ones are like that, where you can't really collapse them. These ones, they just kind of fold into each other. So when I go home, I can take them apart and stack them and fold them somewhere. These take up so much space, but I got everything up and running. Alvin's helping me find some rocks so that when the wind comes or if a round comes, it doesn't fall over. But pretty much ready to go for first round of firing. And, uh, now I'm gonna go get my weapons. All right, so I bought this super cool GoPro mount on Amazon so I could put on my AR and my pistol so I could do super cool shooting videos. And guess what? I left it at home. So now I guess I'll have to shoot dumb style Call of Duty like this. Oh man, this is hard with one hand. Let's see. Oh, it's hard shooting. Ooh, I'm out. Oh, that was so fun. All right, now I'm gonna put the camera away and shoot for reels with both hands. Good job, Jason. Oh, you felt around on you? Yeah, that was scary. Good muscle awareness. <laughs> Joe's making videos too. Oh god. No, just ignore it. Just keep shooting. Okay. It's gonna come flying at you. Don't worry about it. You got it, Jason. There you go. Nice. Good job. Cowboy style. Fuck, I suck. Oh, oh, Peter style. Shit. 
cheater style. God damn, I suck. Oh. No more gun videos for me. It is completely dark now. Look at that. If not for this light, I don't think we can see anything. You do see the slight glow of the city lights over uh, that little berm over there. What's crazy is that um, when you live in the city, there's so much city pollution. I mean, not <laughs> light and city pollution, but so much light pollution that you don't know how weak your headlights are. Like if I turn on my headlights here, you'll barely see anything because out in the wilderness, once the sun goes down, if the moon's not up, it is pitch freaking black. But what's awesome is all of us, we got light systems on our weapons. So this is my uh, AR right here, got a light system. So boom, we're still gonna get some night shooting in. We got targets still set up. But one thing I did wanna show you guys is uh, one of our buddies has this super sick freaking trailer. And I, I wanna get something like this, but I don't have a big enough driveway to house it. But pretty much you got everything in here that you need there's a little sink there's even a little shower and these fold out in their beds and uh, tomorrow we're gonna set up a little mat right here to shoot a uh, long range all the way down there probably like a good thousand yards or whatever i think it's gonna be super tight but um i'm pretty much gonna end the vlog here have some fun hang out with the boys and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow but if night shooting goes cool, there might be some bonus night shot footage, but I doubt it because you could, you could barely see shit. That was dope. It's just a left two targets, right? Yeah. Okay.